Hello and welcome to Vault Life. Today I'm looking at how to use Animodule's new Mixor module as a unique sequencer. Start by molting a voltage offset into all inputs and switching all channels off. Set the knobs to define your sequence and when you plug in a clock you get a simple four stage sequence out of the mix input since only one channel is active at a time. However, if you switch one of the channels on, you'll get more than one channel contributing to the voltage mix, like a Turing machine or clay sequencer. The channel will get turned off again when the sequence reaches that step based on the mixor's XOR logic. Things get interesting when you use gates to turn the channels on and off automatically. Let's plug in three subdivisions of the main clock to turn the simple four-stage sequence into something much richer and more complex. Each channel has an individual output, which outputs that channel's voltage after the attenuation knob and muting are taken into account. Sorry about the loose cable. We can take those outputs and use them to modulate other aspects of the patch, in this case, the harmonics of a Verbos harmonic oscillator. You can bring in even more variety by shifting the mixor's active stage with a CV input. Sync CV will keep these changes in time, but I'll use a free-running LFO to get a wonkier result. Only positive CV affects the active stage, so the variation from this LFO only happens half of the time. So far, the input of each channel has been a static voltage, but Mixor is designed to mix any CV or audio. Mixing and switching between multiple sequences would let you carefully craft complex song structures, but just for fun, let's put in an LFO and have a play. Combining these techniques, you can very quickly get utterly bonkers. I'm still just scratching the surface of this extremely versatile new module, but I hope you found this interesting and useful.